guys, it's the morning before Thanksgiving, and my daughter and I are sitting here. We're preparing the brine for the turkey. We're cutting up some oranges and lemons, depending on the size. You want to quarter them or maybe even eighth them. I'll leave the ratios that you need per gallon of water to cover your turkey for each of the ingredients that we use. So right here, we're doing for a 22 pound turkey, a little bit over. So we're gonna be using about four gallons of water. So we're cutting up the oranges and the lemons and just placing them in a bowl. And then we'll be adding the salt and sugar and some other herbs to the recipe into the pot. My daughter snuck a little lemon there. She loves to suck on lemons. Um, of course, that one didn't go in. You'll see her put it to the side. <laughs> but your turkey needs to brine about 12 to 24 hours before you're going to cook it. And it needs to be kept cool about 40 degrees the entire time. because You don't want a bad turkey. <clears throat> so I usually use a cooler. And here we're getting the pot ready. She's going to be adding some salt. And I'll be doing the sugar. She's using a one cup measuring cup. And once the turkey has brined for the entire time that you're going to brine it, you want to make sure that you rinse it off very good before you cook it. Rinse all of it off inside and out. Pat it dry and then however you prepared your turkey, that's how you would do it normally. I'm using brown sugar. It gives it a really good taste. It offsets some of the salt. So it never really comes out super salty. It just comes out juicy, delicious, and moist. <clears throat> if you've never brined before, you really need to try it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here she is adding, I believe it's the thyme, and I'm going to be adding some peppercorns, about four tablespoons of those. Go with some garlic powder. Garlic powder always makes everything taste better. Here's the rosemary. She's going to put in four tablespoons of that. Brining is a very simple process. It's just mixing a lot of ingredients and pouring it over the turkey. And here I'm adding a gallon of the water that we'll be using. We're going to be using a total of four gallons, so I'm just adding a gallon of water to the pot just so that the salt and sugar and will dissolve and now we're going to be squeezing some of the oranges and lemons into the pot and adding them you'll see all of the oranges and lemons don't fit into the pot so we get in as many as we can and then we'll be adding the remainder to the the cold water that we add to the total brine over the turkey Here she's adding a couple bay leaves. And then we add it, get it onto the stove. We warm it all up to dissolve the salt and sugar. You want to make sure you cool it down though once, right before you put it onto the turkey. You don't want it to start partially cooking the turkey. Um, I added some ice cubes into it just to make sure it was cool enough. And here I am getting the turkey ready, cleaning it, getting all the insides out and rinsing it inside and out very well just to make sure up under them wings make sure there's no whatever on the turkey there's the insides washing them off I'm going to save them and make those into the gravy so I save them 
and you'll see I go a little bit I keep turning the turkey over and looking inside and looking in the both cavities trying to find that darn turkey neck which usually comes with the turkey and I didn't want to miss it but I never did find it so I ended up going to the store and buying some just some turkey neck pieces and cooking them up for my gravy Just sure I'm gonna find that turkey neck, but never did. Next, we put it into a cooler. Uh, well, actually, into two clean garbage bags that are in the cooler, and we're gonna put that clean turkey into it, breast side down, or however you can kind of fit it in there, because you're gonna submerge the entire turkey with the brine anyway. So you want to get that in there, and I'll be adding the rest of my water. I end up adding three gallons of water, and it kind of went down to the bottom. There's the rest of the oranges, so I'm just trying to prop it up with some things to push that water up. I use some ice, a bucket of ice, my frozen sausage there that I'm going to use in my stuffing let that defrost in there and I end up putting a cookie jar in there as well just to prop it up so the water rises up on the turkey and here's the cool broth not broth brine that we're pouring over the turkey oranges everything and we're gonna you see the whole turkey's gone it's disappeared it's underneath everything and we're gonna seal it up and just leave it for 24 hours well I hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and you'll get more tips and tricks on a budget.